Germany's Chancellor Angela Merkel was seen shaking as she met the country's president, Frank Walter Steinmeier. It happened during an indoor event this morning when Germany's new justice minister was being formally appointed. The incident was brief. Merkel was seen crossing her arms as she shook, as though she was struggling to steady herself. One of the assistants at the event was seen offering Merkel a glass of water. In ihren verschiedenen Ämtern haben sie mit großem Nachdruck dafür gearbeitet, zwischen Premieren und Regierenden nicht nur the German Chancellor appeared to be fine after the incident. Merkel's spokesperson was asked whether the Chancellor would be taking part in the G20 summit in Japan. He replied, and I quote, everything is taking place as planned. The Chancellor is well, unquote. This is her second shaking bout within two weeks. Last Tuesday, 64-year-old Merkel was seen shaking when she met a visiting Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. Her whole body was seen shaking as she stood outside in the hot weather. Merkel later said that she was fine after drinking three glasses of water and referred to it as just a case of hydration. Keeping it with heat and dehydration, from France to Germany where scorching heat is making daily life tough for Berliners. In fact, uh, Germany recorded its highest ever June temperature on Wednesday when the mercury hit 38.6 degrees Celsius. The previous record stood at 38.5 degrees Celsius, which was measured in the year 1947. Residents of Berlin are seeking shade and refreshments wherever it could be found. Authorities in several German regions have imposed temporary speed limits on some stretches of the Autobahn as a precaution against heat damage. In eastern Germany, police pulled over a moped rider who was wearing nothing but a helmet. Several commuters have also complained of trains struggling with air conditioning systems. In the latest from Venezuela, where the Nicolas Maduro government is claiming that it has derailed a coup attempt, it has accused the U.S., Colombia and Chile of having colluded in a plot to assassinate President Nicolas Maduro and install a general in his place. As per Maduro, the plan allegedly involved an attack on the headquarters of its intelligence agency to release a former defense minister who fell out with the Socialist Party in 2009. Venezuela's communications minister has claimed that the alleged coup involved active duty and retired military officers working on directions from opposition leader Juan Guaido. They say the plan, if not thwarted, would have been executed last weekend. Lo que puede venir es una revolución más radical, una revolución más profunda y una revolución que acabe completo con los privilegios de la oligarquía y de todos estos sectores fascistas del país. Hemos develado, desmantelado y capturado a una banda fascista de terroristas que pretendía un golpe de Estado contra la sociedad venezolana y contra la democracia venezolana. Tan capturado bajo... Guaido, on his part, has dismissed the coup claims as fiction, saying that he has lost count of how many times the same accusations had been repeated. Juan Guaido says he will continue his calls on the armed forces to abandon President Maduro. Miren, es el cuento número N. O sea, ya ustedes, la prensa nacional, perdió la cuenta de cuántas veces eh, ha habido reiteradas acusaciones de lo mismo. Nosotros el llamado que, que hemos hecho y, te, y que seguimos haciendo, como lo hicimos ayer, en el Parlamento Nacional es la familia militar, es la Fuerza Armada que se ponga del lado de la Constitución. Remember, 17 people had been charged with attempting a coup on the 30th of April during Guaido's failed attempt to inspire an uprising. The efforts failed to shift the military's allegiance and Guaido was backed by only 30 military personnel.